We now present For the Record. Just ahead, a sign of hope for legalized medical marijuana in Wisconsin. Maybe. Well, it's not a matter of if this happens in Wisconsin, it's a matter of when, and the details of that policy are vitally important, as with all legislation. Plus, we hear from Madison's newest city council president. Collaboration is key to me and, and relationships, and so I um, strive to be a collaborative leader. And later, hear from students who say school shooting drills have left them traumatized for life. I worry about how many kids go to school each day afraid. Welcome to For the Record, I'm Naomi Coles. Most of our neighbors have legalized medical marijuana. Madison Democratic Senator Melissa Agar continues her years-long campaign to bring legalized marijuana of any kind to Wisconsin as well. Breaking this week, there may be support for part of that from legislative Republican leaders. Senator, Senator Agard joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. So we just heard yesterday, we're taping this Friday morning, that uh, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has signaled that he's working on a bipartisan plan potentially to bring legal, legalized medical marijuana of some kind. There are not a lot of details yet, but I, I guess what's your kickback reaction? Well, frankly, actions are louder than words. Uh, we've been hearing from the Republicans in Wisconsin that um, they're working on something for a number of different sessions. Uh, they have complete power in the legislature. Clearly, they can pass whatever they want, um, and we haven't seen that action. I have been working on a bill to fully legalize cannabis in Wisconsin for responsible adult usage as well as having a medicinal component for over a decade. And it is clear that the people of Wisconsin want this bill. We're an island of prohibition right now um, with Michigan and Illinois having full adult use cannabis and Minnesota on the precipice of passing that policy. You just mentioned you've been working on legislation like this for a decade. and In many ways, you've become almost the face for trying to get marijuana legalized in Wisconsin over the past several years. Um, a, a frank question, if you will, is it a bit discouraging given the fact that, there's, that there hasn't been support from the Republican-controlled side of the both chambers? I know that the people of Wisconsin are behind this policy. Um, and frankly, it's my job to lift up the will of the people of the state of Wisconsin. So I'm going to continue working on this, as I do with many issues that, unfortunately, Republicans in the legislature are not willing to move forward on. Um, I am hopeful with um, the fact that it, there is a possibility of having new district maps drawn in the state of Wisconsin, that our legislature will become more pragmatic and balanced, and we'll actually be able to move forward on this policy, the legalization of cannabis for responsible adult usage in Wisconsin, as well as so many other policies that the majority of the people of Wisconsin are wanting us to take care of. Has there been any outreach from uh, leading Republicans to Democrats like yourself in terms of building this bipartisan, what they, what they have said would be a bipartisan? Plan. Um, so certainly I outreach to my Republican colleagues and my Democratic colleagues um, nearly every day uh, in regards to what it is that I am working on for responsible adult usage. I have not been invited to the table, um, so to speak, uh, with whatever it is that Robin is working on. Do you think the governor would get behind even a small step in that direction, or would he hold back for perhaps the full thing, if you will? Well, certainly the devil is in the details with all policymaking, um, so it's vitally important that we know what it is um, that these folks are working on. Uh, they have indicated, as you said yesterday, it seems in response to the um, announcement of my grassroots tour, traveling around the state of Wisconsin, wanting to hear directly from the good people of our state about what is exciting and might be concerning about responsible adult usage of cannabis happening here in our, in our communities, making sure that we're doing it the Wisconsin way. Um, it's hard for me to say what it is that the governor would do or whether or not I would support what it is that they're working on because we are not included in those conversations and haven't seen any of the details. Well, let's talk a little bit about your plan, right? And, and obviously you back legalizing both medical and recreational usage, but let's talk a little bit more about the ram other ramifications. Would you back things like criminal justice reforms on this mm -hmm. front, um, vacating convictions or people serving time for this? Where do you stand on that? Absolutely. So that's a big part of this bill. I know that um, the most dangerous thing about weed in Wisconsin is that it remains illegal and that there are egregious racial disparities when it comes to cannabis arrests um, and cannabis offenses here in the state of Wisconsin. So making sure that there are paths to expungement, um, that there are ways for people who have been harmed by prohibition to be able to enter into the industry, that 
some of the money that is raised through the tax structure of legalizing cannabis is actually reinvested in the communities that have been most harmed. Those are just a few of the many um, provisions that are included in this bill to address the fact um, that black and brown people are more um, likely to have cannabis related offenses on their records than white people, despite the fact that we have near e equal usage. Senator, is there anything else I haven't covered that you'd like to touch? Uh, I know it's not a matter of if this happens in Wisconsin, it's a matter of when, and the details of that policy are vitally important, as with all legislation. Thank you. Absolutely. Senator, thank you so much for your time. We will be right back.